The Podfix Network, baby. Hey, everybody. This is former WWF Light Heavyweight Champion Gilbert, brother. And you're listening to the Breeding Guild Podcast. The Cretans Guild would like to thank the Podfix Network for their generous contributions to our social Darwinism. Uh, So despite uh, Corey and I having continued stresses with uh, a particular Etsy seller, uh, (laughs) welcome everybody to episode 77 of the Cretans Guild podcast. Hey, I didn't call it the Nerd or Not podcast this time. I actually called it the correct name. Nice. Uh, I'm growing here. I'm growing. Uh, I, heard, welcome. I heard the words nerd or not. Am I? Get the fuck out of here. Oh, okay. Get Walter Goggins or whatever the fuck your name is. I don't remember. Uh, but yes, do welcome to episode 77 of the Cretan Skilled Podcast. Uh, I am Jay. With me as always is Bob and Corey. Uh, guys, welcome to Tout. Uh, welcome to, there it is. Uh, uh, to, to Bing Bong and Google Plus, uh, where we are just Bing the bong? dredges of humanity. I don't, I, I think that's a real one. I said that on one a couple months ago, uh, and it was one I pre recorded. Mm-hmm. And it's when I had a, like, a list of defunct social networks open. Yeah, yeah. And I was just reading down the list of stuff. Uh, and I think Bing Bong was a real one. I think it was a Chinese one, but that's a little too racist. So I don't know if that's 100% accurate. Uh, I mean, TikTok started out in China. They own a, a lot of point. capital and social media. It's a good point. It's yeah. a very good point. We hope you guys are all washing your hands. We hope you are COVID-free. Uh, and we certainly hope that you are not licking any toilet seats in the COVID challenge. Uh, but I'm going to kick <laughs> this over to Bob right now. Uh, that's a very dated reference. I don't think anyone's done that in two months, but whatever. Uh, nothing says timely like a 41-year-old man doing a podcast. <laughs> a trio of them. Yeah, a trio of them, exactly. Uh, I'm going to kick this over to Bob now. And uh, Bob, you uh, you have the reins, because I have no idea what the fuck's going on. All right, well, tonight I got something really special for you guys. Tonight we are going to be talking about the creative the artistic. We're looking at things that are visually pleasing. And we're going to do it in a way that we do about once a year. I (laughs) swear to God, if this is a picture of your hog, I'm going to be so mad at you. I won't. Well, it's not now. (laughs) Somewhere goobs just started salivating. Uh, (laughs) Somewhere up in three logs, Manitoba, you heard you heard, <laughs> you heard a soul voice in the distance. Woohoo! <laughs> Johnny Pink, get in here! <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right, so so we're talking about something, and Bob just put up a poster or a picture in our Slack that says uh, hashtag Nerd Playoffs. Tonight, we are talking a look at one of our favorite subjects of all time: wrestling championship belts. Oh, the championship belt championship. Well, I can tell you one thing that's not going to win, hmm, and that's the uh-huh. TNT championship, because God fuck damn, that's awful. <laughs> it's it's a pretty bland belt, yeah. D- did I tell you uh, what the Southern Plantation is that's on the side belts? That one, I that's a complete mystery to me. I know the answer. Hit me. Ooh. It's Ted Turner's fucking house. Uh, <laughs> you know, I thought that at first. I was like, no, they, no, they couldn't do that, could they? That's the exact same thing I did, because I was like, that's Ted Turner's house. No. No. No, they wouldn't do that. That's not Ted Turner. That's that's some random southern plantation house. Yeah. No. It's not. But then you it's get not. but then you got a call from Jane Fonda who corrected you and said actually it's my house. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, so we're talking championship belt championship here. All right, so our most on the nose playoff. <laughs> This, this is this is awesome. All right, so take us through it, Bob. What do we got? I try to get as many big-time promotion belts, single belts, as possible <laughs> into... <laughs> the fuck is this one that looks like a Smirnoff label? What is that? <laughs> Some of them, I'm pretty sure you've never seen them before. I haven't. So, NWA Television Championships. That looks like it could give you a pretty solid buzz. That, that one's <laughs> actually the youngest one in this entire group. It, they just brought it back for the new NWA. I have a couple of criteria for this one this year. All right. So basically, we're looking at the greatest professional wrestling belts, 
singles that are current day, current day versions of single belts. No <laughs> retired belts like the European or the, the hardcore belt. Uh, we also have no personalized versions like, say, the big Sequoia or the Fiend title. Uh, no Waffle House belt, I guess. No Waffle House belt. Uh, <laughs> all right, because yeah. that would have been a ringer, obviously. That would, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. That's, there's also uh, no backstage belts like, say, the Up, Up, Down, Down belt or the Internet belt. Or the Cretan Skill Championship. I mean, Or the Cretan Skill Championship. That's a given. Yep. Uh, no former versions of particular belts like, say... Pretty much every, every version of the U.S. title belt. Or every version of the IC belt. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And there's also no regard towards the history of that belt or its past holder. So we are judging purely on the creative style or ornamental look of these belts. Oh, Head just, okay. just the make of the belt itself. Just on the looks, huh? Yep. Okay. All right. So so we're going to start with uh, up first is, boy, uh, the ultimate battle of mediocrity. Uh, <laughs> uh, screw uh, the, you. My, one of my favorite belts is on here. Uh, well, I, I, trust me, I, I have an opinion here and I, I will, I will get to that. It's the TNT championship with the aforementioned Ted Turner mansion on the side plates and the world's most exciting television network logo slap dab in the middle of the belt <laughs> that says TNT in Ariel. I'll give you, I'll give this one to you, Jay, as a, uh, as somebody who's like sometimes over obsessed with graphic design and, uh, and, uh, uh font, uh, rendering. This thing offends me on a deep level. <laughs> the TNT belt? Yes. So, so, so here's, here's the problem I have just from an aesthetic point on the TNT belt. I don't mind that it's silver and red. That doesn't bother me in the slightest. Well, there's another belt I, in here that meets that profile. Exactly. Okay, continue. Sorry. I, I have a big problem when you have something that has multiple fonts on it. Yes, that's and, the, what I, and they are <laughs> they are fonts that don't go together. I was about to say there's like, there's like a complete style clash from Go with that giant ass plain blocky font for TNT, which works for a television network. They go with, they go with a typical like serif uh, floral champion uh, font for the word champion right below it, and then yep. they start going in with like with like that classic Roman uh, uh, trailing ribbon motif on the center of it, and and the thing that you had mentioned like the most glaring. Uh, a bit of ostentatiousness about it is that house, the engraved house on the on the sides, and it's like there's there's no identity to this thing fucking whatsoever. It's two faced. Nope. It's 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 up against a an off derided title that I actually I I, I personally like the look of, mm -hmm. uh, and that's the the twenty four seven championship belt. Yeah, that's um, yeah. This is this is all Art Deco. Mm -hmm. It's Art Deco lines. Uh, you've got uh, nice curves. The font is Art Deco. The font matches. The twenty four seven goes with the champion on there the side plates have the borders on them i wish like my biggest problem with this belt isn't the green isn't the gold it's the blank sides the side belts are the side plates are pointless they're just blank i wish there was something in there but at the same time i also look at it and say well it's a championship belt that kind of like the og hardcore belt mm -hmm. can change 150 times in a night yeah you can't really put side plates on for someone that's going to be changing that the belt's going to be changing hands you know 50 times in a show but at least there's a design aesthetic that's maintained throughout the entire thing. There's there's an aesthetic, there is consistency, and you definitely know... Uh, I mean, they tried to go with... I'm, I'm thinking that with the TNT Champion belt, they kind of tried to go with something that was simplistic. It doesn't really explain the side plates. But with this, they went with something simple and something recognizable. And that was, I believe, why they... Uh, why they went with the uh, the whole uh, Art Deco uh, look to it mm -hmm. because it's the thing about Art Deco and something that like a lot of people seem to be flailing all over, uh, especially after Batman the animated series kind of like made it, you know, a, a, a knowable thing again, is that they try to layer things on top of something that is supposed to be recognizable at a glance, readable at a glance. I think is what I, mm -hmm. I'm trying to say here. That's what you get with this belt: two tones. You get engraved uh, engraved information on the main belt, and that's all you need. I'm with you on leaving the side plates naked, though, because you could at least throw something in there like a highly stylized globe. It's world wrestling <laughs> still, you know? An eagle. <laughs> An eagle. Um, maybe even like a Crash Holly's cartoonized face where he kind of looks <laughs> like Henry. Uh, <laughs> I'm with you 100% on that one. That's one of my favorite belts, Noel, not only on this tier, although I'm still eyeballing the Smirnoff belt. I don't know. <laughs> we'll get to that. We'll get yeah, to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get there. But but out of the, out of these two, personally for me, I think the 24-7 championship belt is a better look. Mm -hmm. The thing about these two belts, and if you're listening, go ahead and feel free to have Google 
available to look these up. The difference between the 24-7 belt and the TNT belt is the 24-7 belt is finished. That's true, too. The TNT belt had a lot of work not completed as of yet, and I found out the reason for that is the title maker, the guy who was putting this belt together, he was uh, restricted down to a skeleton crew because of COVID-19, and... Uh, uh, half of his staff had to be put forward to make respirators. Oh. So I hear that. I'm like, ah, well, but this is what you put on air. So this is, these are the rules we're going by. We're going with what's out there right now. The TNT belt versus the 24-7 belt. The 24-7 belt, those side plates bother me, how they're just blank. I guess they're supposed to be like gold bars or I don't know what they're supposed to represent. How simple the title is, I guess. So, yes, I, I would lean towards our green friend, the 24-7 belt. Only because okay. the TNT belt, it ain't finished. I, I, I gotta tell you, Bob, I think that would have been uh, vital information to have at the beginning of this whole thing, so that I didn't nope, just, we're like... we're going with aesthetic. Like, that I didn't just dump all over the efforts of, like, five people who have had to sacrifice their entire work, or a goodly chunk of their workforce to emergency, um, to emergency duties... At the same time, a AEW could have put the belt on hold until the guy was able to finish the thing. Here's here's the the thing about it though. The the guy who's making the belt uh -huh. actually put up a picture of what the finished version is going to look like. Yeah, it yeah. doesn't look good. It doesn't look good either. It, it, no, it doesn't look good. Like it's he's like, well, there's nickel plating and gold on there as well. I was like, yeah, but that doesn't help it if it looks like shit. <laughs> like it's still an ugly fucking design. Uh, I'll, like, I'll agree to that, but I'm gonna re I'm going to retract my criticisms, if not my evaluation of the belt. Until then, I'm still on the 24/7 belt as my belt of choice. However, okay. I feel like I just smeared diarrhea all over this guy's face. <laughs> 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 well, but you know you can recover look at this piece of shit it's like just five people worked on it what the hell is that all about <laughs> well five people just worked on it everybody else is kind of you know dire straits at the moment it's like uh, well all considering right. what we're talking about i guess i could have been friendlier about it <laughs> all right next up we have the wwe universal championship belt the blue universal and the, the blue universal title and the nxt heavyweight championship belt I, this is so so the the universal title is now blue mm -hmm. it's boring yes it's it, it, it's a very boring title it's a stamp yeah that's that's exactly what it is it's, it's a stamp it's a, it's a serial title that's like the rest of their belts the nxt title i dig I actually like that. It's got a little bit of life to it. I like that it's two-toned. I like the use of the grommets uh, surrounding the center plate on the edges. That's pretty slick, uh, yeah. And I like on the side plates the kind of uh, triangles that come off on the far accents on the left and the right side. Um, that mirror the or mirror. Blah, I can talk. <laughs> the tri the triangles pointing in towards the N and uh, towards the X on the mm -hmm. the center logo. Yeah. There's a lot of really good design choice on this one. That was a really well considered uh, considered belt design. I agree with you on that. I think the uh, the grommets were uh, were were included in the design to be like a, an, an extenuating counterpoint to the rivets that are in the X because you you, you see it as like a uh, as like a repeated um, uh, element to it. But either yeah. way, that's that was a really well considered belt. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then the, the universal title is just kind of there. Like there's. A bunch of jewels. There's random gold bars separating the side plates from the center plate. I don't know. It just it, the, the the belt's never done anything for me. So it's the only belt I've ever known of that got booed on its introduction. <laughs> That's true. For some reason I I don't really mind it. I mean I mean I as a whole the, the, that series of belts doesn't do a whole lot for me. The two yeah. men and the two women championships mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they look exactly the same aside from the belts themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I think the palette, like like if Kurt Angle came out the stage wearing that, it would it would be synchronized. I I, <laughs> I will say I like it more in blue than I did in red. Ye yes, <laughs> red red looked like a toy. Blue looks like a choice. Uh, red red leather. <laughs> when red is used in conjunction with leather, it ceases to be leather. It becomes naga hide by that point. All right, so jumping on to the next two belts, mm -hmm. we've got the NWA Television Heavyweight Wrestling Champion, which is uh, housed on a fruit roll-up mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> against against the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship. Now, it's kind of unfair to have, have New Japan belts in here because New Japan belts are classy as fuck. If a little bit busy. Uh, they are. They're very busy. Yeah, yeah. You're going to notice a particular flaw but with all the IWGP belts. Y yeah, but putting the, the poor television championship belt up against it, 
Uh, I know, Corey, this is the one you like, right? This is the, yeah, the spirit. yeah, it makes me want to go out and uh, have a Cosmo, like, right now. Like, I won't I won't lie, I kind of love the goofy-ass inclusion of the ABC and CBS logos mm-hmm. on the side plates. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, like that's stupid. I love it. Uh, but it's, <laughs> it's a vintage revival that's not improving anything that doesn't need to be improved upon. But, yeah, yeah, like this is they they brought this back. The same thing with the end of the the ten pounds of gold, their championship. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, okay, no, it works. I mean, mm-hmm. that is definitely a vintage title. Yeah. But then you get to the junior heavyweight championship belt. This looks like something you would take off of the body of a cigar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like the use of copper. Mm-hmm. I've always kind of liked the side plates on these with having the names inscribed on it for the champions. I think that's pretty clever. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it. Does it is it just me or does it feel uneven? Like it feels lopsided. It feels tall. It feels taller than it does. Like like the the top is too big. I don't know. I think that's I think that's a lot of their belts because uh, I'm looking at the other one up here, the heavyweight IWGP Championship belt, which has more copper in it than it does like a gunmetal color. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, I I think that your eye is drawn just a little bit too much towards the center, and I. I don't know if there's any sort of like an overriding design philosophy when it comes to championship belts or anything, because we're talking about subtlety <laughs> when it comes to <laughs> when it comes to a design ethos that seems to be anything but that. Yeah. I th- but you you did, you did want to put the junior heavyweight belt over the uh, television heavyweight, the NWA belt. Uh, am I correct? See, I don't know. Hmm. Like, like the only thing I don't like about the NWA belt is that it's on a fruit roll up. Yeah. Like I don't like the I don't like the leather. Uh huh. Uh-huh. I I think I actually want to go with the NWA belt over the IWGP belt. Nice. Like the 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 lion head at the top of the IWGP title, mm-hmm. that copper lion head is really fucking throwing with throwing me off. Yeah, it does stick out, don't it? You just you just want to pet it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like I, I I like that title, but I think I like the television title title more. Specifically because of the ABC, NBC, CBS, and whatever the hell the other one is. That's the old that's a big blocky ass N for N B. Fucking C. No, I, yep. I know that one. Uh-huh. I know that one. What's the, what's the one next to CBS? It's a, just a random satellite dish. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that it, makes it even better. Like they didn't have another fucking network to toss in. <laughs> it's, like, like, any, it's like anybody under the age of twenty five watching it sees an up close shot of that belt, <laughs> and, they, and they see the third, they see the third play it over, and they're like, "Huh, I think I might have seen that on Spaceballs. I thought that was just <laughs> what is that a direct TV dish? Yeah, what the heck? It's like." You, okay, you, you don't know the struggle of, like, rolling up to the spinny channels, <laughs> the upper 80s, at 2 a.m. Right. in the morning, and imagining that you saw titty. So, You've... so all right, One, 100% then the NWA title wins, because yeah. they had to throw in another random fucking logo, so they got a satellite dish clip on yeah. <laughs> like, it. That's that wins. Sorry, sorry, New Japan. All right, uh, sliding down the bracket now, mm-hmm. we're going to see uh, the two very nice looking belts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the NXT UK Championship mm-hmm. uh, versus the Ring of Honor Television Champion. This one's a toss up for me. You mentioned the cigar belt up there with the uh, uh, the Junior Championship belt for IWGP. It's funny because yeah. right as you said that, I was kind of sneaking a peek at the at these ones down here. And I saw the mm-hmm. Ring of Honor television championship belt, and that's exactly what popped into my head. Yeah, that's that's from a Swisher Suite right there. Yeah. That's exactly what that is. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I love the NXT title. Uh, I think it looks great. I like I like how ornate it is mm-hmm. on the main plate. But there's something to be said about the what appears to be uh, wrapped hard candy on the side plates of the Ring of Honor title. I, did. Um, I think those are like maps, those- aren't they? I'm pretty sure. Sh- well, I mean, those are maps. Yeah, in the middle, those are maps. But what's uh-huh. surrounding them to me looks like a starlight mint. Like, you know, it's got the two little tufts <laughs> off the side. All right. So NXT, we've got uh, we've got we've got a griffin and a horse. Uh huh. Um, alongside a castle over a shield. Uh, that's a nice looking title. Very UK. It's a very regal looking title. Um, yeah. Perhaps purposely so. Here's the funny thing, though. Um. Look at the top of the side plates on the our uh, the Ring of Honor belt. Got crowns with the, with the crowns. Yeah. Yep. So it's a, so it's like there's a there's a linearity in theme here. So I I do want to point out again that I think you know as much as I like personally I like that NXT title. Mm-hmm. I think the Ring of Honor title is going to take it for me. And it, again, it's it's the last one we talked about. It's the inclusion of the wrestling clip art at the bottom of the main plate. <laughs> yeah, I was looking at that. I was wondering when you're going to get look at those just. Ah! 
<laughs> yeah, like that's 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 what you get on Google Let's image go! search from like uh, you know like clipartfan.com dot com or something. Right, so like, do a search term for purple nurple, and you get something that's similar <laughs> to that. <laughs> um, but I, honestly, I like the Ring of Honor title. I, I, it, but to me, it's a toss up. If I'm being honest with mm-hmm. it, like looking just aesthetically, mm-hmm. I think the UK Championship wins for me just because that feels ju- it feels more important. When you when you introduce more than one color to a belt, how oh, great you that they that they're barely stepping outside the uh, the range of primary colors. I mean, one of them's fucking black. Um, mm-hmm. It's it's really hard to class up gold without it looking like uh, Huggy Bear's mouth or something. <laughs> <laughs> For an example, so I can see that they're doing a lot with that belt, but it's still, uh, it's still the frame, it's still the framework of the branded WWE belt. And, yeah, uh, I'm going with the cigar band. I like the cigar band. All right, Bob, you're the tiebreaker. I am. Go- oh boy, like you said, Jay, this one is tough because they're two gorgeous looking belts. I'd love to have both of them hanging on my wall. You know what? I'm gonna let the side plates be my deciding factor. And since the uh, UK title has the, well, uh, not the uh, the WWE logo. I know they changed those out for the particular wrestler, but the, the sides around the side plates, I guess, it's got like this uh, fancy little... The scroll work? Scroll, yeah. Uh, while the television championship is basically a map of the planet on a, on a shield. I don't know how that... Translates as to television, especially when they're mostly an American company. I will, I will say this. Uh, AEW should take notes here because Ring of Honor's font outside of their logo, everything on that belt matches. True. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they don't have a, their own channel plastered all over the belt. Cool, boy. All mm-hmm. right. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with TV t- title on this one. Okay. All right. Ring of Honor moves on. Kind of an upset there, I would say. All right, next. <laughs> this this is a battle, in my opinion. This is a battle of mediocrity here. Uh, we've got the Impact <laughs> X Division Championship belt uh, in what is one of the busiest designs. Someone really likes lines uh, against the IWGP United States Championship belt, which I do not like. Uh, just flat out. it's My, my pick is going to be the X Division, and I'm not even going to explain why. It's not that I like the X Division. It's that I hate the, the IWGP US title. I think I think it's fucking hideous. Like it's one of the ugliest titles. It's way too fucking baroque, uh, yeah. especially for uh, especially for what it's supposed to be. Um, I was going to go with the impact belt uh, by default, simply because I like the inclusion of texture uh, over the uh, over the plates uh, sure. with the brushed metal and such. That stupid fucking bird, though. <laughs> that owl. Yeah. I don't like the owl. Yeah. Uh, I do like that the belt has layers. That, like yeah, that was another it, that was another yeah, that I was going to bring up, but that bird's just it's sitting there like who yeah that's right who are you <laughs> who, who what the fuck is this fed? <laughs> but it's a cool looking belt, so yeah yeah I'll take it. But that that IWGP that the IWGP belt is looks like something that someone would make as a, in a in a car. You know, like that's like, uh, look at my U.S. title I made. I slapped fifteen different elements together. Yeah, but it's fucking hideous, dude. I'd be I'd be fucking like a. Uh, gobslapped if I saw that in a coffee. Like, that's a lot of work for something so terrible, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's like a really intricate Half-Life mod where you're really just walking down a hallway and then Slender Man pops up. Well, why is it just like the plainest leather ever? Like, the leather has no texture. Like, this is a weight belt they picked up at Dick's Sports. Be, that's not a very <laughs> detailed picture either. It's kind of artifacty, but... Yeah, some of these are the best images I could find, uh, if that tells you anything. <laughs> if people didn't want a really good picture of that belt, that tells us a lot, actually. Uh, we have uh, the Rev Pro. Uh, that's the Heavyweight Championship, right? That is otherwise known as the British Heavyweight Championship. Okay. The British Heavyweight Championship versus the WWE Intercontinental Heavyweight Championship. I thought it's, I originally thought it said Rev Bro on it. And... <laughs> Rev Bro. Hey, bro. <laughs> so as much as I liked the grommets on the NXT title, I do not like the grommets on the Rev Pro title. I wish they would pick a color. I don't like that there's red and white as the accents, but they also have purple jewels on there. In its defense, I will say this is from this belt from the UK. This belt probably has more color they see in a day. That's fair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's true. That's fair. <laughs> the new WWE Intercontinental title, though, I like. Um, I, I like the use of the uh, the the maps or the globe. 
Uh, I really like that they kind of went with a, a standing oval instead of a laying down oval for the center plate. Mm-hmm. Um, and I like interchangeable side plates. I, I like that wrestlers can customize those. So simplicity is going to win this one for me too. Uh, it's just very, it's very two tone, black and gold, no big deal. Uh, it, but it's only because the rev bra um, belt. <laughs> <laughs> that font is can is so off seg with the rest of it, and uh, that is a design decision. I really would have workshopped if it had to be, uh, if it had to be branded as such, because yeah. it sucks. <laughs> it's just honestly, I I kind of like the overall look of the belt minus the jewels. That's the other thing that's got to go when you go with something that's like very industrial looking like this. Um, but yeah, the the logo is just it's just so offset from the rest of the belt and a piss poor uh, a piss poor inclusion or design inclusion. Uh, another thing I like about the Intercontinental title is that uh, specifically it does not have any jewels on it. Yeah, like I like that it's just metal. Mm-hmm. That works for me. That's great. I, I, I guarantee you that this is the design that somebody uh, somebody kind of sketched up in Alpha and that was rejected for another belt. But whoever designed it liked it so much, they kept it on uh, uh, in the circular. Whenever they needed a new Intercontinental belt, the guy was like, well, I like it. Oh, you know, I have an idea. <laughs> well, I had this thing just kicking around in the back of my desk drawer, and I think it'd be pretty neat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up, we have the NXT Cruiserweight Championship belt uh, versus... Yeah, I have no idea what this one is. Yeah, it's it's classy looking, but um, I'm sorry, vintage classy looking, but uh, it's not Ver- recognizable to me. Versus heavyweight wrestling champion. Yeah, yeah, this one probably works against it. This is the PWG World Title. Oh, the Pro Wrestling Gorilla, really? Yes, this is their title. Huh? It's a green strap with gold plates, uh, a blue gold a globe. And yeah, the only writing on it says heavyweight wrestling champion. It's right, uh, very, fill, very simple. Fill me in, but PWG is at least relatively new, right? No, they've been around for a while. Well, they've been around for a while, but we were watching uh, on the on the Sami Zayn DVD. Yeah, yeah, that was their yeah. fed. Yes, that's I don't know. That's uh, in my, admirably old school for uh, for such a newer fed. Bob, what are the what are the side plates? Do you have that? Because to me, it looks like banyan trees, and I, I'm positive that's not what it is. <laughs> you know what? What you're looking at is the best photo I could find. Every photo I saw was just it strapped over a guy's shoulder, and you can't make out what the uh, side plates look like. I, I will admit, I'm a sucker for the NXT the Cruiserweight Championship belt. I've loved that belt since it got introduced. I didn't and, even mind that it had the purple strap. Uh, I like it because it has a purple strap. Yeah, it's just I, the color. I like. Yeah. I like I like the purple and silver. Uh, I like that they didn't force gold onto it. And honestly, to me, it feels like a championship title. I like the this belt from PWG, but it feels very generic. Like this feels like something you would buy at a store for your backyard <laughs> fed. Yeah, it's like something you'd pick up at Trophies Plus, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah like the belt needed to cook a little longer. <laughs> yeah, I, I like it. The bottom, uh, like underneath where it says wrestling champion, looks kind of like caramel melting. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, it's it's, uh, it's the writhing tentacles of the old ones <laughs> reaching up <laughs> to <laughs> to ensnare our globe <laughs> it's unrelentingly <laughs> dire clutches ah uh, sorry <laughs> it's the cthulhu belt you know what's happening here <laughs> you will <laughs> wrestle for the amusement of the great old ones <laughs> All right, so I am going with the cruiserweight title. Mm-hmm. Uh, Corey, how about you? Cruiserweight title. Uh, for me, it's yeah. uh, I like in that it's unique. It doesn't go with a typical. Uh, uh, it doesn't go with a typical metal for the plates. It's uh, mm-hmm. for lack of a better phrase and one that y'all should be familiar with because he uses in a lot of class rings. It's, it looks like white gold to me, and that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. It's very distinctive. Uh, purple, like I said, is uh, one of my colors. So and digging that a whole lot. Uh, Something that you can't see with it, though, I guess an unspoken value with it is that it is, I believe, the WWE's first step into legitimizing a cruiserweight division. And I think the meaning behind the belt means, uh, the meaning behind the belt, uh, it gives it a little bit more value to me as somebody who, you know, digs Lucha Libre and for the longest time has seen, like, cruiserweight divisions. I mean, fucking Gilbert. Like, we love the guy, but... He <laughs> he had the light heavyweight belt uh, in the WWE for how many years? Two. A Goldberg parody had 
they're equivalent of a cruiserweight belt for two years plus. Well, I mean, some of the belts with this company, you can tell if they don't give a crap. Like, they'll give a women's title to a guy. Yeah. Multiple times. Yeah. It, it, like, like when Poppy Chulo came out for that one match against Gilbert, we were like, okay, well, that had to happen. And we were yeah. we were glad it went to S.A. Rios. Poppy Chulo, whatever. Um, yeah. And <laughs> we were glad <laughs> that it went accurate. To, we were glad that it went to him, but we were like, well, where's, where's Eddie? I mean, I mean, he eventually made a run for the heavyweight. You know, title, yeah. but we were like, there's got to be somebody, somebody that would fit the cruiserweight classification that, for whatever weird reason, is on like the Intercontinental B uh, B card right now. But yeah. it was like S.A. Rios. Okay, well at least a guy can wrestle. But here, here it's legitimate. Here they, this is what they use to like drag in content from like all over the world. It kind of underpins the uh, the central uh, the central globe motif too. So I, I like that one a whole lot in both intent and presentation. I'm gonna go with the NXT or the uh, the cruiserweight title. Myself, of course, uh, you go a, with you go with the belt that's been introduced by like eons old uh, cosmic squid beings. <laughs> well, the, in in most cases, what I would do is uh, with this cruiserweight title, I would actually label it as probably more industrial cut versus the uh, the PWG belt, which is more classic looking. Mm -hmm. Which in most cases, I'm going to lean towards the classic, but I think in this situation, it's a detriment. Yeah. I mean, we were talking shit about the other belt too. I I, I do I do dig the uh, the retro uh, styling of it. It's just that the other belt. Yeah, I I, I like the PWG belt as well. Mm -hmm. But I mean, we didn't recognize where it was, we didn't know where it's from. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's a, a PWG problem. somewhere on it. Yeah, when yeah when your when your heavyweight title has no identifying marking, mm -hmm. that's a fucking issue. It's 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 a bit generic, even if it is. Even if it is uh, likably traditional. All right. Next up, we've got the IWGP I Never Love This Belt <laughs> Never Open Weight Championship <laughs> versus the MLW World Heavyweight Championship Belt, which I do not care for. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for one thing, that belt looks that little belt looks like straight ass to me. It's terrible. Yeah, it looks like shit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, but the Never Championship is so stupid. Like. <laughs> I love that it proudly declares never. See, that's what I know. This isn't the case, right? Obviously, but I kind of, I kind of want there to be a stipulation that whoever holds the belt has to come out to the ramp on their entrance, grab a mic, and be like, "Are you going to take this belt away from me?" <laughs> never. You know, like a petulant eight-year-old that doesn't want to eat his broccoli. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I, I'm going with the Neverweight belt mm -hmm. because the MLW belt's hideous. Probably the ugliest belt on the list. Look, no it's, lie. it's got your Fighting Jacks uh, clip art on the side plates, too. Yeah, it does, yeah. too. It does. I like right. that. It's just this. It, the belt can't miss. It's not a gorgeous belt, but I'll accept it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up we have what is the most complexly named title, the Dragon Gate Open the Dream Gate Championship. Uh, versus the NWA 10 pounds of gold. Well, the NWA belt. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, it is, it is gloriously generic or generic, uh, not generic, uh, old school. Traditional. Um, it's straight it traditional. Is... No reinvention, no improvements, nope. nothing. Yeah. I don't think this belt has ever changed. It was, it nope. was, just, it was just reminted. That's all. Well, yeah. Cause the globe in the center got dented. Oh and yeah. They don't even have the, they don't even have Canada's actual fucking flag on it. Like, <laughs> That's, That's the flag from like 1953. Like, <laughs> let me get a look at the. Holy shit! <laughs> That's back when they were still a Commonwealth, I think. That's like, when they were I, still I, trading like coonskins and shit for beer. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Have some ponte, eh? <laughs> we are known for our potatoes, and man, Goobs is just like fucking clawing at his monitor right now. <laughs> I, I, at least, at least we can say. Mm -hmm. That the USA flag has all 50 stars on it. It, it, it does. It does. Dude, man, I'm kind of got questions about these other regional flags. Okay, the Japan one's modern. modern. That makes sense. Um, I, like, I like the NWA belt. I've always liked the heavyweight belt. Um, yep. Here's something about the Dreamgate belt that I wanted to bring to our attention, though, and that, it, it's, and that it's very busy uh, and that it, uh, it involves a lot of uh, floral... Jesus H. Yeah, these minor league promotions, sometimes they have to make these huge elaborate belts that just catch your eye like crazy. Is... I mean, the, the MLW belt, that that's probably the largest belt I've ever seen in person. Fuck me. Is this Rococo? I'm looking at these, like, flourishes they have on the edges. <laughs> this is, like, straight off of, like, uh, one of your, like, the really nice clock at your grandma's house. <laughs> it's, it's cool. Don't touch. I, 
I <laughs> don't touch the clock. Why? Was it expensive? No, I keep your grandfather's remains in it. Um, <laughs> it's a cool belt. I don't know why. <laughs> It's kind of breaking all of my design rules or previously stated design rules up to this point, but it's like, it's like they knew where to pull in, you know? They were going, they were going like full steam ahead with the, with the punch, and then they were like, ah, uh, ding. That's so it. So here, here's, here's the thing about the Dreamgate belt. Huh. I like it. Uh-huh. I like it just fine. I think it works. It, it goes against everything we have said so far. Yeah. <laughs> it's got, it's, it's got mixed metal of gold, silver, and black. It pisses fonts all over the place. Uh, it's got a garish goddamn logo in the middle. Yeah, the lo- the logo's offsetting, like <laughs> like extremely, even more than the fucking um. Where's that other belt at? Yeah, it's a little further south than it feels like it needs to be. Uh, yeah, yeah. The rev, but it- the, the rev bro belt. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not going to win this contest. But, but if, it you works. Have, if you have to go over the line, or at least toes up to the line on a belt. This belt's a pretty good example of where to steer yourself. And I'm going to have to think about that belt for like a lot more now because there's a lot of de- there's a lot of like design theory in there that's making me ask some serious fucking questions. But the NWA belt for me. Yep, same here. Mm-hmm. All right, next up we have the Impact World Heavyweight Wrestling Championship belt ah. against the NXT North American Championship belt. I don't Should we just hate- go on to the next one? <laughs> well, I I don't hate the Impact belt. Yeah, I kind of like it actually. Like a bot, uh, I like a lot. I I I like it quite a bit. But the NXT North American belt feels like a boxing title. It feels important. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, that was uh, that was one of the first belts uh, that I was able to retain like a memory of uh, from NXT. Yeah. So I'm gonna go with that belt initially. This is uh, this is kind of cool though. Like as far as like conceptualization goes, um, they don't violate. They're going with like a different sort of um, Incan Art Deco that you'd see on like uh, a lot of um, you'd see in a lot of like skyscrapers from bigger cities and shit. Oh, uh-huh. the impact title. Yeah, the impact title. And I know that they put the stupid owl there too, but you'll notice that it is not the logoed owl. It's not their brand yeah. owl. It's something that they had to. It's something that they uh, that they made fit the rest of the motif on the belt. So whoever was designing this was not making any halfway measures. So that's pretty cool. Two of the things I really like on the impact belt yeah. are at the very top and the very bottom. Whoever did the design worked a stylized For eye. The in. Eye. Oh god damn it. That's awesome. I really, really fucking like that. Oh wow. It's a great title. Damn it yeah, that's really impressive. I'm you know what I might I don't want to upset the apple cart too much here because all credit due to the North American champion belt. It's a good fucking belt. I'm really impressed with the design do- job they did on this because Talk about have, have, having all odds against you. Uh, yeah. Whoever designed it fucking went the extra mile. The extra ten miles. There's something about the red and the dark gold that kind of works. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm still going North America, but mm-hmm. Impact, good job. Impact Heavyweight's a very good title. Uh, yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, next up, we've got the IWGP uh, Inter- Intercontinental Championship. Sorry, I'm, I'm going to go back to the Impact belt one more time, just to yeah, because this ahead. is what I fucking do. <laughs> Out of all the designs on this spreadsheet, that's the only design that's got me thinking. I would really like to talk to the person who made it because I want to know what influenced all of it. What was that promotion on uh, the El Rey Network? Uh, uh, Lucha, uh, Lucha Underground. Underground. Yeah, 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 Lucha Underground. That, that, this belt reminded me a lot of their title belt. <laughs> yeah, I can I, definitely see that. I know. And as soon as you laid out the stipulations earlier, I was like, fuck. So nothing from Lucha Underground is going to be on here. That's a bummer. <laughs> All right, so IWGP Intercontinental Championship uh, versus the Progress World Heavyweight Championship, which can be called a World Heavyweight Championship because it has been defended in the United States as well as Great Britain. Mm-hmm. Oh, this one's tough. Uh, but honestly, I fucking love the Progress logo. I love the bird. Yeah, it's a pretty stately um, looking belt. It actually looks like what you uh, described um, the North American Championship belt. Uh, to me, this one looks like a boxing belt, like a proper prize decoration. It looks like a crown. Yeah, like it looks like something you'd wear the, on the your head. The shape of the belt itself yeah. is kind of interesting. That. Yeah, yeah, they didn't fuck around with the jewels on there. That's pretty cool. Yep. Good job. I, good I love the progress title. Yeah, the IWGP belt <laughs> over the over to the left is a pretty classic belt. Uh, like I can I can remember like uh, some of the first um, like Puresu that I'd ever seen. I haven't seen any in recent years, uh, but recognizing the belt from those broadcasts, 
I that the progress belt's cool. What fed does that belong to? Progress is a uh, UK based and partners with WWE. Uh, okay, all right. So okay, I, I thought it was going crazy for a second. Okay, cool. Um, I'm nope. gonna go with the progress that's, belt. That's uh, that's pretty nifty. All right, next we've got uh, the GHC Noah Heavyweight Champion, which this is a Japanese fed, right? Uh, yes, it is. I thought okay. I thought GHC was a controlled substance. Versus <laughs> versus uh, the WWE United States Championship belt. <laughs> um, this one hurts because I love the old U.S. title designs, <laughs> like yeah. the old WCW designs, yeah. and even like the the early two thousands WWE design. I thought was great, but this thing's so fucking ugly. This it, 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 isn't this kind of like a callback to those belts. Not no, really. This is like their own interpreted design of it. I, I do not care for this one. Um, I don't like how much paint is on it. The it's and and I know it's yeah it's America rah rah sis boom ba but it's ugh it's a, it's it a looks bit, cheap. It's a bit garish. Yeah, like in the GHC belt, there's like very little contrast in between the two metals that they use, so they rely upon engravings in order to um in in order to uh, what just happened? Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, in, in order to uh, uh, fucking words, whatever. Point is, engraving good. <laughs> Silk screen belt bad. Bleh, yeah, whatever. Uh, like the only thing I don't like on the GHC belt is the random black text on the side plates. What? Where? Oh, I thought. Is that on the belt itself? I thought that was like a watermark. Oh, maybe it I is. I don't know. I think that is on the belt. Uh, yeah, global something. Eh. Crown. Global heavyweight crown, something like yeah, that? I don't know. Global heavyweight, yeah, crown. That's or a honored in- crown, in some cases. That's a not inclusion. Hmm. Yeah. It's still better than the U.S. title. <laughs> yeah, I, I, don't, I don't exactly hate the U.S. title either, but um, I, uh, I'm, going, I'm going with the GHC one. I, I do like that the top of the, the where the WWE logo is, mm-hmm. uh, to me that feels like a like the Madison Square Garden scoreboard. So oh, kind, cool. of, kind of a call back to their home base, but it's still an ugly title. Um, <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right are, we, are we moving on to the next round, Bob? Second round. Oh, second round. All right. Second round. All right, oh, and on. I've given uh, the, the four biggest world titles, I've given them a first round buy. So that this is where they start showing up now. Okay. Yeah, all yeah. right. So we've got the IWGP Heavyweight Championship mm-hmm. uh, against the 24-7 Championship. Now... You might be thinking to yourself, well, this is an easy one. This is an easy call to make because the 24-7 championship should be should be trounced. But here's the deal. Every problem that the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship belt had, mm-hmm. the IWGP Heavyweight Championship belt has. Because yeah. they're, they're, the, they're, the, they're the same fucking belt. Yeah, yes. Like, <laughs> swap out the pallets. Yeah. Yeah. And I won't lie. I prefer the 24-7 title. Uh, same here. I uh, don't... Uh, as... <laughs> Uh, previous stated reasons, stated reasons still apply. Uh, I'm going with the 24-7. Wow. Did you not expect that, Puff? I didn't expect 24-7 to get to the third round, no. You know what? Fuck okay. it. I'm going to take I'm gonna take Green and Goldie all the way to the top. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to fight for 24-7. All right, all next right. we have... It's a belt the end- with a fraction on the center plate, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mathematical equation. Uh, next, we ha- we have the, the, uh, the Smirnoff title. As Corey called it, the NWA Television <laughs> Heavyweight Wrestling Championship, mm-hmm. uh, with that glorious, glorious satellite dish clip art, up against the NXT Heavyweight Championship. Oh boy! And I tell you, I, I kind of miss the original NXT Heavyweight belt. That was a good design. Yeah, it was pretty it solid. Was, it was different. It had a good run. Yeah. Uh, the grommets, the grommets put it over the top for me. I'm going NXT. Yeah. And I still, I, I still really like the the contrasting angled work. On the side plates and the internal plate. Yeah, here, here's the thing about the NWA belt. Love it, uh, but it is tradition for tradition's sake. And uh, the yeah. NXT belt is solid enough and designed to be an evolution of said tradition. So yeah. uh, that's a, that's a step up. We'll go. I'm going to go with that one too. All right. Next up, uh, the AEW World Championship belt uh, against the Ring of Honor World Television Championship. Uh, belt. Can I put a bet on which one you're going to pick? <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, AEW. No, no, I'm not I, taking it. Okay, right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was his joke. This is funny. why I don't ha, gamble, ha, Jay. Aha. Uh, yeah. Right. Uh, I don't. I do not care for the the AEW title. Mm-hmm. I really don't. Mm-hmm. Um, it's too busy. Mm-hmm. I think it's kind of ugly. It looks like it came out of a Rob Zombie video. <laughs> Fuck, that's a really good description. I don't know what design they're going for. Like, it, it looks broken. Like the the side plates and the center plate don't have any kind of consistency to them. They look. 
shattered. I don't know. Like it just it doesn't work for me. You ready for an upset? Yeah. Going with the AEW belt. Um ambitious uh would be a good word to start off on. Um okay. but for the most part <laughs> no, not for the most part. Uh according to cliche, uh starting with ambition with nothing to push it forward usually results in a whole lot of disaster. Where were you pointing out the inconsistencies on the side plates? Because I had a thought about that. Well, between to, the... to, to me, it it doesn't feel it doesn't feel like it's put together. It feels like a piece of metal that was broken and slapped on a piece of leather. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but still divided intentionally. Um, if you put the mm. the two side plates, I mean, this is an obvious feature of it. If you put the side plates together with the center plate, then they would seg together like that. It's not. I don't think that's supposed to be like a central element of the design, though. Uh, what I like about it was that they were going for something grungy, and clearly. Um, and kind of industrial looking, which is why the AEW belt pops, but it's not offensively, it's not offensively obvious to me. Plus, though they are using, uh, two, uh, different colors, well, it's just two different colors on a black background, which is neutral, there's not a whole lot of, like, contrast, uh, between the, between the differently colored elements. Um, going with the side plates, they seem to have stuck with, uh, a global motif with the four... That's those four coin things. That's what those are, right? Those are maps. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, globes. So it's not a whole lot of variety, but they don't really contradict each other either. And I can't see what's on the back side plates over there, but the whoever was um, whoever was charged with the task of designing this, I think might have been given like a really high standard of expectations to work with. And nothing like nothing like the fucking like uh you know the crank smoking maverick brilliant artist that designed that other impact belt where they were like <laughs> all right we're gonna rock and roll with this AEW guy was probably like shit this is my first job but by <laughs> God I'm gonna do that first job yeah I'm gonna stick with the AEW belt I like what was done there it could have been it could have easily like capsized into into unnecessary noise but it pulls it off all right Bob mm-hmm. you are the tiebreaker. Let me ask you guys something. On the AEW belt at no, the very I hate bottom. It. Okay. At the <laughs> very bottom, is that a nameplate? It is. It it's is. A, it's a blank nameplate and pr- you probably wouldn't be able to read whatever's on it. From, right, uh, because that is so freaking tiny. Mm-hmm. Why would you even bother with that? You would have to be like your face would have to be right on top of it. it's like, "Oh, John Moxley." Okay. It is it is a bizarre inclusion, but I think it might have been a locker room decision. If anything. I mean, why bother include it if you're going to make it so small? I think that's what probably would make me go over to the TV belt. Yeah, that is a really good point, too. Uh, And this is your world title. If you want to display somebody and make them the marquee attraction, put their and you're going to put their name on the belt, put their name on the freaking belt. hmm. That's my TED Talk. That is it. It was the first (laughs) TED Talk I've ever watched where I didn't feel robbed. Um... (laughs) I'm sticking with the AEW belt. That's that's at least a single element that could be workshopped at some point, although it was a really weird oversight. <laughs> that's a good point, yeah. So what was your pick, Bob? Oh, the uh, ROH TV title. The cigar oh. belts. All right, ROH moves on. Mm-hmm. Next, we have the Impact X Division title versus the uh, new WWE Intercontinental title. Uh, this is the one where Impact loses. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because because I mean it was it was a battle of hideous before because this is not a not a good a good belt mm-hmm. compared to their other one. Yeah, uh, that lost. I got to go intercontinental. Yeah, when I was talking about earlier about uh, uh, ambition often leading to overzealousness and disaster, that's kind of well, yeah. I mean they they were trying to do a lot with the impact belt, and I can respect that. But the other belt did it so much better. Uh, the other impact yeah. belt, rather. So uh, exactly. intercontinental belt. All right, uh, NXT Cruiserweight Championship versus... Oh, it's the Cruiserweight belt. It's <laughs> Cruiserweight. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> let's, let's go, let's, let's, we could skip over that one probably, right? Yeah. All right. We, we have to at least mention it. Okay. Uh, it, it, was, it was the WWE World Heavyweight title. It's... Yeah, whatever. It's, <laughs> it's a W and a W with some side plates. The Fuck belt off. that uh, tries to do nothing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. Uh, next, we've got the Never Openweight Champion. Never... <laughs> uh, versus the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship. Well, uh, uh, two decidedly different belts. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, uh, it, well, never belt. Do you think you're going to be making it to the next uh, bracket? Right. Never! Yeah, right. <laughs> Go with NWA. Yep, exactly. Yep. <laughs> uh, NXT North American Championship versus Ring of Honor World Championship. I haven't seen this one before. No, this is one of the ones that got to buy into the second round because it's a big title. It's uh, a big belt. Okay. I'm going to go with the North American champion belt here uh, for previously stated reasons. And this one looks a little bit too much like the undisputed belt 
that the WWE had for a while. Yeah. And I fucking didn't like that one. Too many jewels on this one. Uh, kind of uh, kind of a boring center plate, really. It's, I don't know. Mm, it's, it, you know, fun, the thing. And a weak ass nameplate above their ROH logo. Look at that shit. No, it's better than, <laughs> it's, it's a lot more visible it's, than the AEW plate. That's, that's true. Yeah. It is more visible than the AEW, but still. Clear fonts. It's easily readable. Here's the thing about this belt. All the fundamentals there are in place, but it, it's the exact opposite of, of ambitious. That's, that, that's what bugs me about it. It's yeah. just, it just, it's just like, all right, we need a belt. Well, here's, it's, it's, it's a belt. very. They're not using that anymore. Let's use something like that. And it, it's a very safe design. And this is the, here's the worst thing about this. Wherever there's like a neutral element, like uh, over on the sides of the center plate and up and below the uh, the uh, the main uh, logo, they're like, what can we do, jewels? Yeah, that's <laughs> it's like one of the reasons I don't like the WWE belt, the heavyweight belts, because they couldn't think of anything else to do. So let's just bling it up. Whatever. Yeah. All right. Next, we've got. <laughs> <laughs> the Noah GHC Championship with its font mm-hmm. uh, versus Progress. It's Progress. Uh, progress because I don't want to be caught with the uh, GHB belt in my car when I get pulled over. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, are we on to the next round now, Bob? Third round. Third round. Mm-hmm. The NXT Heavyweight Championship ooh, versus the 24-7 ooh, Championship. Wow. Ooh, 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 24-7. Bring it home. Come on. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. This is where we... St- we we no longer agree. I'm going to NXT. Uh, it's the grommets, man. Mm-hmm. If the 24 seven title had grommets, it would win. It's the art deco for me and, uh, and the minimalism. All right, Bob, you're the tiebreaker. I have to go NXT with this. I have to. You treacherous bastards. <laughs> I've been called You'll worse. be hearing from my lawyer, Wilbur Peebles. No, not Wilbur Peebles. But not tonight, because I don't feel like Ooh, it. The guy that lives outside the UPS store that <laughs> yes. that's below you? I don't know how to hire legal representation. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, next, we've got the Ring of Honor World Television Championship uh, versus the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Uh. Uh, and this is uh, this for me is where the Ring of Honor title is going to fall by the wayside. Mm-hmm. Um, they they feel similar to me for some reason. A little mm-hmm. bit, but but the Intercontinental title to me does it better. I don't think is that the the Ring of Honor belt feels similar to another belt in this bracket to me. Um, Let's try to make it. Let's make it an interesting contest. I'm going to go with the ROH belt. I've got to go with the Intercontinental title. I think that is a gorgeous belt. Damn. All right. This isn't hate on Corey Day. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship felt. Oh no! Versus the NXT Cruiserweight title. Oh shit. Um. Hmm. Fuck. Classic versus the future. Contemporary. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, that, that was much more eloquent than <laughs> how I put it. <laughs> Screw you, Jay. Screw you and your Fuck. gift of gab. I don't care. God damn it. Uh, you know what? This hurts. Let me throw this out there again. Uh, if it came if it came down to uh, comparing visual quality between the two, uh, maybe you want to go with maybe you want to go with what each belt means to you instead. Well, the NWA title means fuck all to me. Okay. Like, well. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> I think you I think, have your answer. Because because that does contribute to the overall design of the belt, at least to me. They could have gone with a completely new belt with NWA, right? Oh yeah, they could have. Yeah. I I just I don't I don't watch NWA. I never watched NWA. It, it the belt holds no nostalgic value to me. See, I, th- I thought it actually did because uh, it's kind of synonymous with Dusty Rhodes. Nope, that oh. was my grandfather's guy, not mine. Oh okay. I was a, w- I was a WWE fan. Oh. Uh, or WWF fan. I'm gonna go cruiserweight championship. Because I love the belt, I I do have a tie to this belt. I watched the entire CWC as it aired. Like I I've I and I prefer cruiserweight wrestling to to old meathead wrestling from mm-hmm. the NWA. Mm-hmm. Be that as it may, even though the NWA wrestling is known for its hallmark of deeply psychological match presentation, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I'm mm-hmm. going with the cruiserweight belt. I mean, <laughs> there wasn't really going to be a contest between the two. I didn't start watching wrestling until 1998. Yeah, yeah, true. and y'all were around for that. <laughs> and, and what was the shit that caught my attention first? Jeff Hardy doing a swanton. So I started paying attention to the littler guys. Uh, so that that's the cruiserweight title moving on. Um, next up, we have the NXT North American Championship versus the Progress Heavyweight Champion. I got to be honest with you, as much as I love that North American title, the Progress belt feels unique. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm still kind of captivated by the fact that it looks like a crown. Like, that's... 
Okay. That's kind of cool. Uh, I'm I'm going progress. That is that's clever. Yeah, I'm going for reinventing the traditional on that one. To me, not to completely railroad my own assessment of the NWA belt. But I said that that one was tradition for tradition's sake, and this one is at least a slight uh, skew on that sort of a, a motive uh, motif. Sorry. Um, so yeah. Also, uh, I, I thought it would be amusingly ironic if the progress belt didn't progress. <laughs> So what what were you going with, Corey? Oh, the North American Bell. <laughs> okay, sorry. All right, and Bob? <laughs> God damn it. Break All right, tie. so on the tiebreaker, huh? Yep. Man, I really like both of these belts. I like the North American title maybe a little bit more, and now that I'm seeing it for the first time, probably a lot more. But that progress title looks a lot like a Nazi eagle in the middle. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> Well, you know, when you're right, you're right. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Didn't see that one. All right. I feel like shit now. Uh, okay. Well, how do you think the guy who designed it feels? <laughs> I don't think he cared. Or he completely knew. Oh, my God. I want to I'm gonna, I'm gonna see the, that. That, uh, that raised an interesting question. Okay. Does everybody know what the Nazi eagle is actually called? The eagle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this a discussion we want to have? I don't know. I, I I had to look it up because I was really curious. All of a sudden, because when you call it the Nazi eagle, I was like, "That's a great, that's a great term." That's probably not what it's called, though. Um, it's actually the Imperial Eagle, so it's called the Reich, the Reich Sadler. That the Reich Sadler. <laughs> so there you go. Some unwanted trivia for today. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy. You'll, All right. you'll be the pride. You'll be the pride of the Gators' dock site on trivia nights. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Bob, did you go with North America then? Uh, hell yes. Okay. All right. So we've got NXT <laughs> versus Intercontinental. I gotta scroll it off. Hold on, because <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I cannot see it now. <laughs> Those poor bastards. Um. <laughs> oh man. Boy, that was a terrible decision. They should have really workshopped that a little bit. Uh, wow. Well, technically, uh, according to what I just looked up, it's not actually the Reich Sadler, but it looks like it looks a goddamn lot like it. Okay, so it wasn't just me having a no. Um, the Reich. From what I saw, the Reich's the the, the Imperial Eagle. It has like well, it has the swastika in the middle of it. That's a pretty defining element. Uh, but it's also like spread like um like a pilot's badge. So okay. it's it's not exactly that, but but it does look a lot. It, was, it came from the same era of Art Deco heavy design, and that was a, that was a you know a recognizable value. Who do we know? Maybe that could be a falcon. Maybe it's a Maltese falcon on the on the front. Yeah, it could be. It's the Nazi eagle, though. It's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're wrestling for the Fuhrer. <laughs> All right, so our final four comes down to four WWE titles, uh, three from NXT and one uh, secondary belt. First up uh, to go into the finals, the NXT World Heavyweight Champion. Versus the Intercontinental Championship. Mm, the elements of the NXT belt that made me vote for that one over... No, actually, actually, that I kind of parted ways on that one, didn't I? Because I went for the Impact belt. No, that was yep. the North American Championship, I'm sorry. You went for the 24-7 title. Over the NX, NXT belt? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I was meaning from the first round. But, again, um, yeah, all of the elements that were uh, included with this belt in order to form a an evolved idea of tradition or uh, what's selling it to me on this one. Whereas the intercontinental championship, same idea, but it, uh, I don't know. It seems hesitant. It seems like it, it keeps its roots in place, you know? So I love the new intercontinental title. Mm -hmm. um, but when I compare the two of them, it falls flat. And I mean that literally from a texture perspective. Yeah. Uh, but the NXT title feels alive. Like, it feels like it has depth. So that's that's where my vote goes. Mm -hmm. All right. So NXT is going up against which belts? The Cruiserweight Championship Cruiserweight from Cruiserweight Championship, NXT, uh, probably. Or, yeah. or the North American Championship. I'm, I'm going with the old Royal Purple. I'm going North America. Mm. This, is where, this is where the Cruiserweight Championship falls. All right, Bob. Ha, huh, another tough one. Break the tie, Bob. I am going to go with, in this situation, I'm saying North American. North America, fuck, fuck yeah. yeah! All right, so uh, we got a champion versus champion round for the finals in NXT. 
Uh, it is the North American title versus the NXT title. Both NXT belts, so that fit wins either way. Yeah, both NXT belts, uh, both uh, very interesting takes. Uh, one is a decidedly traditional boxing style belt. One mm-hmm. is a, a new take on probably a traditional wrestling style belt with the mm-hmm. NXT championship. More industrial. Yeah, significantly so. Mm. Uh, both make excellent use of grommets. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> Very grommety, this fed. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I never noticed that about the NXT belts before. Well, the Cruiserweight doesn't have it. No, it does not. Uh, the Cruiserweight is uh, clean lines. Mm-hmm. All right, for me... I need to go with the NXT championship belt. Ah, uh, I got to think about this one for a little bit. They're both I think, they're both solid design concepts. Yes, they are. Yeah. Hey, Bob, you want to step in front of me for this? I'll call it now. Commission is the commissioner making a call? I'm making a call. Uh, Jay went with NXT. I'm going North American. Oh shit! Okay. Hmm. All right, Corey, you got to break the tie. Yeah. Not the dead mic, everybody, but damn it. <laughs> NXT, uh, the NXT heavyweight belt. We're going with that. All right. Yep. So. And from out of nowhere, the NXT belt. I <laughs> uh, went on a, a storybook run through mm-hmm. the playoffs. Yeah. Um, that was fun, Bob. That was, that was really good. That was, uh, that, was an, that was an excellent playoff this year. That, and we got through it in one episode this time. Got that's got to be a record. Yeah, we didn't stretch it out over three months. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It was uh, mercifully short, and uh, hey, I got a question concerning one of these belts, though. Um, like with 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 the with the progress wrestling belt, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you pro- think the progress wrestling belt? Sell me more. Yeah, and, and do you think that during like a melodramatic denouement for a match, the crowd only counts to dry? Eins, zwei, drei. So, so one of <laughs> one of their most famous uh, champions was uh, Austrian uh, Volta. <laughs> no. Who, uh, yeah, his name is Volta, and he's a very big boy, very oh. big. Yes, uh, his 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 stable was called Ringkampf. No way! Why? <laughs> <laughs> it was that somebody saddled him with that. They are currently uh, in NXT UK, and his ring his group is called Imperium. No, oh my god! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are they doing? Give me one sec. It gets better. <laughs> I mean, and he's Austrian. That ought to be really fucking insulting to him. <laughs> where, where was this his music? Uh, this is his music in... It, it has always been his music. Oh, okay. His music in oh, yeah, NXT and free. in progress. Yeah. Oh, I like this. It's very good. Bring Kampf. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, they're not towing a line, are they? Damn. All right. You know what would have been great, though, is to see this guy work during, like, late 90s Attitude Era of WWE. <laughs> oh, he'd be goose-stepping everywhere. He would have been a fucking Nazi, like, straight up. He would have been, like, coming out like Colonel Clink up to the ring. <laughs> and suddenly they go on a European tour and he fakes an injury. Yeah. And then he'd, he'd, he'd be working a program with, like, the limp corpus of Sergeant Slaughter coming up. You know how it works. <laughs> That's... Oh, shit. Man... That's some chutzpah right there. Uh, not to be cute. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Swear to God that wasn't on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So our our champion this year yep. uh, is the NXT Championship. That is that is uh, the winner of this year's Nerd Playoffs this, here in the Creepy Guild. This impromptu uh, bracket. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was fun, Bob. Very fun. Oh, glad to hear it. That unfortunately is going to do it for episode seventy-seven of the Creepy Guild podcast. You know, we are uh, happy to bring this stuff to you guys. Uh, Bob, I loved the new show, the, the Tales from the TV Mines, or whatever oh, it was called. I can't remember. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was great. I'm excited to see more content coming from you as you laugh and point at the people walking into Disney and you drive home safely <laughs> uh, bet- between now and the end of the year. I mean, honestly, just egg egg people. Fuck them. Like, I, don't, I don't give a shit. Like, that's going to be the good Skipper Bob content right there. Just stay safe. You know, like, I, I know... Yeah. You gotta you gotta make the content soon, and you know that that's that's good for the channel. But don't do anything dumb. Oh, now you tell me. No, no desperate solutions <laughs> before the wake of imagination. Just try to be yeah. creative. I, I don't need pizza fries that bad. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Especially since you can fucking uh, make your own. Just get some mozzarella and pepperoni, and then some or Ida's, and then throw them in the oven, and you're good to go. 
In Didn't you actually do that on your channel, Buck? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and did they taste like Universal's pizza fries? No. Oh, they didn't? No, they were garbage. <laughs> but yeah, that is going to wrap up episode 77 of the Creighton Skill Podcast. Do be sure to, uh, you know, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this episode and give us comments and all that fun shit. Let us know what you want to hear from us in the future. Be sure to subscribe to Skipper Bob's Breakdowns on YouTube and uh, Square Pegs on YouTube as well. That's my video game channel and Bob's Theme Park channel. You can buy our merch on T. Oh shit, T. Public. There you go. Not, <laughs> you I buy, got one right. You can buy our merch on T. Shit. <laughs> no, that's German. That's just, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> We've got all kinds of stuff on T. Shit.com with the Nazi <laughs> eagle. <laughs> It's t dk. <laughs> oh, Jesus, God, I've lost the fucking point. All right, uh, where was I? I? I don't remember where we were. Um, oh, yeah, uh, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, uh, follow us on Instagram, um, all that fun stuff. Do interact because we love to get feedback from you guys, and you can tell us what you want to hear. We will probably ignore you, give you the finger, make fun of your hat. Uh, and just do whatever the fuck we want to do anyway. Especially if we like you. Yeah, especially if we like you. <laughs> we are, of course, part of... Shit, what... What, oh. <laughs> what network are we a part of? Podfix. <laughs> the Podfix network. Oh my god, open your fucking notes. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jesus. Alright. You, you want to do that again? <laughs> yeah, I do, actually. Okay. All right, we are, of course, part of the Podfix Network. Uh, again, we still don't understand how we got invited. Um, but here we are uh, with Nazi eagle jokes and milking foreskin. And we would accept nothing less on the glorious Podfix Network. Uh, we do love you guys. Uh, and thank you so much for uh, letting us be a part of the network. We, we're happy to be here. Um, uh, anyway, until next time, guys, the wheels have come off this train. Uh, I'm Punch Truck. <laughs> the V's have come off the Volkswagen, I believe you mean. Volkswagen! We'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel! We are going to crash into Dachau! <laughs> Hans, let us go down to the beer garden! Oh, God. Oh, God. Wash your hands! <laughs> <sighs> Thoroughly. <sighs>